Hello and welcome to KennyRoy.com. I'm Kenny Roy. This is the Ask of Email for the week of July 1st, 2013. Welcome to the site to all of you new members. And welcome back to all you old. The Ask Video Mail is your chance to get your question in character animation or performance answered in a video just like this one, but I need your question if I'm going to answer it. So please send your questions to webmaster at kennyroy.com. I go through all the questions and I answer the ones that I think will help the most people. There's no such thing as a stupid question and it is the best way to get the most out of the site. Got a few more Ask Video Mail questions than usual in my inbox. Um, it seems like the begging is working. Uh, please, if this is a uh if there's one thing that you can do for me, if there's one thing that makes my life complete, it is seeing all of these Ask Video Mail questions sent to my inbox, okay? Really appreciate all the ones that you send in. Send more. You can even send me your Maya file. I will open it up and I will take a look. No matter what, um, I will open it up and take a look. Even if it's not worthy of an Ask Video Mail question, it still is uh, just one uh, thing that I can do for you as my member. Um, so please go ahead and do not be shy. Uh, send those in. It is July. Can you believe that? It's July, people. Unbelievable. I feel like SIGGRAPH and, and everything is super early this year. Why is that? It used to be like in August. Anyway, so SIGGRAPH's coming up. It's starting in uh, July 22nd, I believe, is the uh, first day. Actually, that's a Monday, so it's July. <whistles> Hello. Go 21st is the Sunday, and then 22nd is the uh, a conference day, and then 23rd, 4th, and 5th is the exhibition, which is dope, which is awesome possum. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of you there. I will be at SIGGRAPH this year and uh, showing off some of the stuff that we're doing at Collabs and uh, just making merry, just kind of like just mixing it up. Come on, get it on. It's next door to... Th uh, Disneyland, that's going to be weird. It's going to be like, uh, Sigraph, Disneyland, Sigraph, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if anybody uh, can make it into the conference um, there. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about with collabs, please check out collabs.arconics.com, C O L L A B S dot arconics.com. And um, we're pretty soon going to be wrapping up this one. And I have some meetings lined up to uh, show distributors and see if we can get our film made. And uh, we are going to be doing collabs after this, though. So look on KennyRoy.com for the advance notice of when you can sign up and get on the waiting list for collabs 2014. It's going to be somewhere around uh, mid-February to early March in 2014. So that is awesome. That's going to be fun to look forward to. But this is the Ask Video Mail, so we've got to get to the question at some point. Let's take a look. Uh, great question. I feel like this is a question that uh, should have been asked a long time ago. I, but I, you know, I have to do the questions that are asked in the uh, in the email, so I can't jump ahead. This is a, uh, a pretty simple uh, answer, but uh, it has far-reaching ramifications um, in your animation. You know, depending on uh, what kind of shot you're working on. Um, like this animator described, sometimes you have a shot where there is a lot of camera movement and the movement kind of either adds to or negates the movement of the character, especially the arcs um, within pose, I would say. That being said, pretty much 99% of your attention should be going to make sure that those arcs look good to camera, okay? So um, the 1% that you don't is when the camera moving is basically what you're trying to um, convey as, as camera movement, literal camera movement. And an example of that would be if there is like someone like lands on the ground and the camera shakes and it's supposed to be like the world shaking, like the camera shaking. Um, you wouldn't want that to be, um, um, you wouldn't worry about that in terms of the arcs. All right, in, the, in the character. Another one would be if the camera is meant to be falling. So for instance, if you have um, characters and the, the, they're standing on something and it breaks off and then you have, you know, maybe other characters on, like on a cliff like watching them fall, you know, 
They might reach out and try to grab them and the camera, if the camera is falling away from them, you would, you would try to animate that, um, that, that reaching as, as best you can with nice arcs and whatever, but if the camera is part of the, the literal action, then um, you kind of have to consider it on equal ground with the action of the, of the other characters. Does that make sense? So think of it if there's really like a cameraman that's actually in the action, then it doesn't, then that's like the 1% where you need to kind of like reconcile those two bodies of thought, okay? But in general, if there's a camera, the camera's supposed to be invisible. So even if the camera's moving, if it's sweeping through a scene and you have people doing all these movements, maybe they're doing karate or whatever, all of those movements, you really need to look at how they're, how they're feeling with the camera movement. A good example is like a punch. A punch if the camera's moving very quickly from left to right and you punch, what's that going to do? It's going to negate because it's tracking along with that hand, okay? So that punch has to be extra fast, it has to be even faster than the camera, otherwise it's gonna feel slow because it's just gonna like slow down in camera, Ooh, and, then, and then you get none of that dynamic that you were looking for. Another example is the opposite. If the camera is orbiting around somebody and they do a head turn, if it orb orbits in the opposite direction of the head turn, it will feel like they're snapping their neck because it's going so darn fast, okay? It's going so darn fast. So um, that's bas the basic answer, but um, maybe, maybe just uh, draw a few uh, examples as well so we can go just a little bit deeper into this uh, question, okay? Take a look. Okay, so here we have a Miocene. I'm just gonna create a sphere and just do a little bit of, you know, simple animation. Just imagine that it has a, you know, it's just doing this, this little, I don't know, kind of like wavy movement, okay? Now this is a completely smooth arc, okay? Now I'm gonna create a camera and what this animator is asking is when this camera starts moving around, it's gonna change the arcs, and, and they're very right about that, okay? So I'm gonna imagine that this camera kind of like swoops around and moves in like really close, okay? You see that? Now look at this. Now we have, we had, rather, we had a very smooth arc, right? But now with this kind of wild camera movement, we have something totally different. So this is when the grease pencil tool comes very much in handy. Uh, Maya's new, Maya 2014's new grease pencil tool. Now, of course, there's been plenty of scripts that have uh, repl uh, replicated this, but this is built in now, so you might as well learn how to use it, okay? So I'm just gonna draw, just generally, uh, each frame. And we're gonna see where that arc is, is, how that arc is kind of looking, okay? Now, it's good to hide the object once we're done this for the purpose of making it so that all we're getting is the in-screen, uh, you know, camera space translations that are happening uh, for, for our object. And look, we're even getting something like where it's going backwards. Even though we know it's not going backwards, this is what we're getting, okay? I'm just being very quick about this. All we want is that gross, that gross movement, okay? Oops. There we go. Now the uh, animator also asked, hey, what if you have to change the movement so much to make it look good in camera, that it's really just a bad movement overall. I will say, just as a blanket rule, that if you have to modify it so much that it's a bad action, then you probably have a bad camera in, in actuality. And 
Uh, because really, when it comes down to it, no camera should be so crazy that you can't really tell what's going on anyway. You might look at a couple of the Michael Bay films. It's kind of hard to see which robot is, you know, on top, you know, when they're rolling around in the, in the forest. But uh, suffice it to say that the um, camera movements that you're going to be dealing with normally aren't going to negate completely all of the animation are they? They're probably going to maybe introduce a few problems, but in reality, not so much that you have to like break your animation. Okay, so let's just watch this. You see that? It, when we start moving kind of like right down the pipe, we lose that, that, that side to side motion, don't we? Okay, let me, let me um, just show you the, the difference here, all right? And I'm going to turn off uh, polygons. Here we go. All right. So on the left is the real motion, right? Oops. This thing has a channel. I animated. My bad. Okay. So on the left we have the real motion and on the right we have what we're getting in camera. See how different those are? It's just one smooth motion right here and then we have a very, f it moves but then has a very flat arc. Okay? So what I would say for this is to see if you can um, make it so that the object kind of lands uh, when it lands at this pl space, it doesn't go straight up and down, right? So you probably need it to land in screen space somewhere right here, okay? So if we go back to the grease pencil, all right, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So if we come up here, right, and then we come down a little bit more relaxed like this, That one probably can be better. Just trying to even it out just a little bit. There we go. All right. So now look where they diverge is when that camera comes by, right? So you see this one on the left now? It has a lot more of the movement that I really need, that I was really looking for. Now I'm going to go through and I'm just going to erase the, the bad one, okay? like this. Don't worry about it. Okay. Just just erasing. Okay. Now we have our brand new arc, okay, that works a lot better with camera. And now what we can do is if this was let's say an arm of your character or you know a, a, a sword swinging or whatever, now you can kind of adjust it so that the movement is a lot more, you know, kind of like with the um, with the action that you're 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 looking for. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit weird, you know. It's going to be. And if you can see, I'm going to go for I'm going to go on twos this time. If you can, try not to animate it on ones because um, you don't want it to be. You don't want it to be too choppy.
you know. Okay, and now we have something. It's not going to be right on because this this drawing was was done just with screen space. But now you can see that even with our camera move, now let me add that. Let me add something on the ground that you know kind of shows off where our camera is. Oof. Well, that's not exciting. Let's try this again. Oh, I should just turn on the grid, right? Yeah, the Okay. So now even with let me turn off the grease pencil. Um actually how do you turn off the grease pencil? I haven't figured that one out yet. There we go. Turn off grease pencil. Cool. All right. So now we have something that feels a lot smoother even with that crazy camera move. Right? And this level of cheating used all the time, used all the time in um, features. Okay? And well, commercials, TV, well, what am I talking about? It's used just all the time. The only place where this is not used is in video games, because video games need to work perfectly from any angle. But um, now you see, I mean, we, at first we had a character that was kind of like, you know, doing that little dodge thing and it looked fine until the camera came in. This gives the same, um, and here's the, here's the word of the day, and I know you guys know that um, I'm really, really, really hot for this word. This gives the exact same impression that you, you'd have without that camera move and really all it ever comes down to is the impression. It's it. That is it. All right. We're in the business of making impressionistic moving pictures. That's that's all this is. The jig is up. The the secret is out. All right. That's all we're doing. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. That was a great question. Um, please send more. I can't have enough questions. Send them to webmaster at kennyroy.com. I go through all the questions. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Trust me, I would have asked it already. All right. Good luck with your animation. And as always, rock on.